Have you ever looked into an elephant's eyes and felt they knew something you didn't? Not just memory, not just strength, but something ancient, something wise. Today we uncover the true story of the elephant. The Elephant Digestive System The elephant is an organism shaped by hunger. Not a gluttonous craving, but a biological necessity. Standing as the largest land mammal on Earth, the elephant is a walking furnace of life, fueled by an ancient digestive system that must constantly work to sustain its colossal frame. Every leaf torn from a branch, every blade of grass ripped from the earth, begins a complex journey through one of the most fascinating digestive systems in the animal kingdom. An adult elephant can consume between 150 to 300 kilograms, 330 to 660 pounds, of vegetation each day. This includes grass, leaves, bark, fruit, and even roots. Despite this astonishing intake, elephants absorb only 30 to 40 percent of the nutrients they consume. This low efficiency means they must spend up to 18 hours per day feeding, their lives governed by an endless quest for food. Digestion begins with the trunk, an organ as versatile as it is sensitive. With over 40,000 muscles, the trunk is capable of both uprooting a tree and delicately plucking a berry. The food is placed into the mouth, chewed with large molars, and mixed with saliva, rich in enzymes that begin breaking down cellulose. From the mouth, the food travels down a long esophagus and into the stomach, a surprisingly simple organ in elephants. Unlike ruminants, such as cows, elephants have a single-chambered stomach. Here, enzymes and acids begin further breaking down the chewed vegetation. But this is only the beginning. The real magic happens in the colon and cecum, which are massive and host a unique community of bacteria, protozoa, and fungi. These microorganisms ferment the plant fibers, extracting energy and nutrients from cellulose that no mammal could digest alone. This process is called hindgut fermentation, and it gives rise to one of the elephant's most essential relationships with its internal microbial world. Inside every elephant is a hidden universe of microbial life. The large intestine and cecum hold trillions of microorganisms that perform the heavy lifting of digestion. These microbes break down plant fibers, synthesize vitamins, and produce fatty acids that the elephant can absorb. This microbial community is not just helpful, it is indispensable. Without it, the elephant would starve. Interestingly, young elephants don't have these microbes at birth. They acquire them by eating the feces of older elephants, especially their mothers, a behavior called coprophagy. This might seem unsavory to us, but it's a brilliant and necessary transfer of microbial knowledge. Elephant dung is a world of its own. Because their digestion is so inefficient, much of what they eat passes through only partially digested. This makes elephant dung a seed dispersal machine, filled with viable seeds that can sprout far from the parent tree. Entire forests owe their composition to elephant movement and droppings. Dung beetles, birds, fungi, and even other mammals depend on elephant waste for survival. The digestive process of elephants is not just about sustaining themselves. It sustains entire ecosystems. Digestion is impossible without water. Elephants can drink up to 200 liters, 53 gallons, per day. Their large bodies require constant hydration, not only for thermoregulation and metabolic functions, but also to keep the digestive system running smoothly. Without water, food can't move properly through the intestines, leading to dangerous blockages. This is why elephants have remarkable spatial memory for watering holes. 
a matriarch can lead her herd across dozens of kilometers to a water source she hasn't visited in years, based on knowledge passed down through generations. When elephants become ill, digestion is often the first system to show distress. A blockage, a parasite, or rotten vegetation can be fatal. Elephants have been known to self-medicate using certain plants that act as natural laxatives or antiparasitics. This hints at herbal wisdom carried in the herd's memory. Knowledge passed from mother to daughter, a form of intergenerational health care. More than a biological process, digestion in elephants is a metaphor for life. From the tiniest bacteria to the sprawling savannas nourished by dung, from the tiniest calf to the aging matriarch, every level of the elephant's world is connected by this ceaseless transformation of plant into power, matter into movement. The elephant's digestive system is not just a tube or a mechanism, it is a living fire, a sacred engine of survival and generosity. Burning slowly, quietly, but with enough force to move mountains of earth, to shape entire landscapes, to keep the wisdom of the giants alive. Elephant Brain and Intelligence Beneath the sweeping ears and solemn gaze of an elephant lies one of the most intricate and astonishing minds in the animal kingdom, a brain that weighs over five kilograms, the largest of any land animal. But it is not size that makes it sacred. It is the soul it carries. In the dry season, when the earth cracks and rivers fade into dust, the matriarch leads her family across the savanna. She remembers a watering hole not visited in a decade, not because she was told, but because she remembers rain, its scent, its sound, and where the earth last drank deeply. This is not just memory, it is wisdom rooted in emotion, guided by experience and passed down through generations. The elephant's brain is shaped for feeling and thinking. Its temporal lobes, linked to memory and emotion, are far more developed than in most animals, even more intricate than our own in some ways. Elephants recognize themselves in mirrors, mourn their dead and caress the bones of lost ones with aching slowness. They are emotional architects, building relationships with old friends, remembering kindness from humans years after the moment passed, and expressing grief with tears and silence. Young elephants are wonderfully curious, rolling in mud like joyful children, stealing fruit from trucks, experimenting with sticks and water, their play is not random, it is practice. Learning to use their trunks, solve problems, build bonds. Even adults will pause before action, thinking. In that pause is intelligence, the space between impulse and wisdom. Elephants don't speak, but they listen to vibrations in the ground. Their feet receive the rumble of distant calls. Their minds interpret tone, rhythm, distance. They communicate across miles of silence, minds linked by a low-frequency hum we can't hear. They don't need to shout, they feel. What is intelligence? To humans, it is language, tools, and logic. But elephants teach us a deeper truth. Intelligence is empathy. It is memory tempered by forgiveness. It is a mother who stands over her calf while it sleeps. It is a friend who stays beside the weak. It is a herd that waits for its old. In the end, the elephant's brain is not merely an organ. It is a cathedral of feeling, filled with the echo of memories, dreams, grief, joy, and love. Elephants remember. Elephants forgive. Elephants mourn, love, teach, and protect. They are not just animals, they are elders of the earth. If they vanish, the forest forgets its way. If they survive, we all do. So, let us not just watch them from afar. Let us honor them, protect them, and learn from them. Because in the eyes of an elephant, you don't just see a beast, 
you see a story older than us, wiser than us, and still walking beside us. Like, subscribe, share.